being home, coming back to this show, is this different than your other shows? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking like, yeah, I mean, this is where we, we always went to see shows. This is where I, my first show concert ever was here. Really? Who'd you see? Right. Huey Lewis in the News. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for you, it's, it's just different. Uh, yeah, it's similar. I mean, I remember, uh, you know, coming to big shows here. This was like where you saw a big show. Yeah. You came to the Civic Center. Right. You know, and it's like, it's really kind of surreal to be, you know, to like see the load-in dock and stuff like yeah. that. You know, it's like. And you're like, oh, that's, this is what happens yeah. back here. Yeah, this is where they worked on Stomper Bully. Yeah, like yeah. during the <laughs> tractor pull, you know. So this show, did your whole family come, friends, all of it? Yeah, it's like a big family reunion, high school reunion. Mm -hmm. It's a whole big, they'll all be teaming around here, back here pretty soon. Yeah. It'll be a lot of people, for sure. You've been doing this for a long time. At what point were you like, we made it? Yeah, it's really recently. Uh, I'd say. I mean, yeah, we won the ACM award and that was a big moment for us, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, that was sort of the moment that forced us to kind of go, oh, we're on, we're on a large stage now and a lot of people are hearing our name and, you know, so that felt like a moment that we mm -hmm. made it. This is another moment. Playing here is kind of like maybe even bigger. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I would rank this, I'd rank this uh, up there yeah. with winning that award. Yeah, cause, really? Yeah, because it is so weird to walk in yeah. this room and go like, this is the place, man. Like, yeah, it's like not abstract at all. It's like I have like, you know, childhood memories yeah. of seeing big shows here, you know, and so it's, it's like, it's very concrete. Like, yeah. Talk to me about your parents and then, you know, they live normal everyday lives and then just kind of watching you guys and going oh my gosh our sons this is yeah. really incredible they're very proud obviously yeah. and and yeah they live you know my parents live in Buchanan and you know they're they're famous themselves now for, you know <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah they're very proud they come out to shows as much as they can and you know whenever they do something has grown you know there's like more crew and they're always just kind of like wow look at this operation you know it's it's pretty it's impressive to us it forces us to kind of look at it through their eyes too and go you're right dad this is huge <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah yeah i think it's kind of cathartic for them you know like i know for my parents at least like they had to listen to me learn to play drums <laughs> every single day for years and years. Yeah. And so yeah. it's, it's nice that they got a little return on their investment. All right. <laughs> you know, so they're naturally really excited. We were telling the story the other day of my dad turning the, the basement. I used to play in the basement and the light switch was upstairs and he would finally get sick of it and turn the light off. That's a good was, technique that works. <laughs> that one worked. That is incredible. Yeah. That's hysterical. Find my way back up the stairs in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> so when you come back here, I mean, you know, people know who you guys are when you're obviously you're out on the road. They, you know, it's just like outpouring of love. But when you come back here, do you feel like it's different where you can, you know, just be yourself? It's be a weird you. mix, I'd say, of, you know, of all the people that knew you win you know and it's it's sort of heartbreaking because you want to hang out with them all and yeah. you can't you're you know working it's busy and there's there's family and everything is going on but um and then yeah it's it's a little even stranger to like walk down the street and someone recognize you and you're like this is my home like that <laughs> you know it's it's a weird surreal thing yeah 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 probably probably seeing people you know uh who have who know you really from you know years and years and years yeah it's like that that adds an extra edge to it, I think. Yeah. Like uh, you know, because you know, we're, we're the same people, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny to see your like friends watch like a crowd of people like respond to you, and they're like, "For this guy?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, do you guys know? <laughs> yeah. You know what he did in high school? Yeah, I mean, like, let me tell you the story. <laughs> Not that impressive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's really funny. Yeah. So looking back over the years, and obviously you guys are now to a point where, you know, everybody knows who you are. What are you most proud of? Man, uh, I think I'm proud that we stuck with it, you know, that we did. I think we've pretty much, you know, stuck to our guns as far as what we want to do musically. And, um, you know, we got turned down by everyone and we just kept doing it and we've remained friends the entire time. So we actually really, have fun doing it. So I think that's what I'm most proud of us for, is being able to stay happy and stay creatively happy and in charge and, and it's working. Yeah, I, I, I'm really, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of, of the music we make, 
uh, I, I'm, I'm proud of the fact that we did kind of do it our way. Yeah. You know, as much as you can within Nashville. And, um, you know, and it's like, it's like he said, you know, we, we still get along, which is a miracle. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> like, yeah, and, you know, that's, we should be proud of that. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. So, yeah, we, we, got, a, we got like a, a, a functional thing, and it seems like, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to build it in such a way that it would be a career instead of a, you know, flame out. We, we, you know, yeah. we're trying to avoid that, and I, f I feel like we're on the right track. And, you know, I'm just really proud of all the associations, all the great people that we've been able, been lucky enough to meet along the way. Um, what would you tell, you know, your 15-year-old self as you're playing in your basement in Botetai County? You're not going to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> you know where you just saw Garth play? You're going to play there. Don't worry about all yeah. those bad grades you got in college. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Right? No, that, that would not be what I would say. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say practice to a metronome. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's what I would say. Practice would definitely be. Yeah. Uh, uh, I would have been, you know, sage I, I, advice. I don't think I would do anything. It seems like it, it seems like, seems the like it worked. Yeah, yeah. I, saying, I don't think I would do too much differently. It seems like the timing and everything, it all kind yeah. of forced itself out. What would you be doing if you weren't doing this? Whew. I don't know. You know, I mean, I went to illustration. I have a major in illustration. I went to VCU, so I, I would probably be trying that, but I don't know if I'd be succeeding in that. But, you know, I'd probably be working outside somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably where I would be with digging a degree in illustration. <laughs> yeah. I'd be right next to you digging a hole. <laughs> yeah, and then in your spare time, you get yeah, to do yeah. a few posters. Yeah. Yeah. So we're digging holes. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to say to the fans, um, you know, the people who are here who are already lined yeah. up outside? I mean, we just can't be, you know, thankful enough and right. grateful enough for our lives have been completely you know, flipped upside down in a really great way. You know, we're, we're getting to live truly, as cheesy as it sounds, we're living a dream. We, we went to shows in this building and we dreamt in that moment of being on that stage. So now here we are. So um, the fact that people would listen to our music and buy our music and tell other people about it is the only reason that we're here. So, uh, you know, just endless thank yous. I mean, I would say the same thing. I, I, I can't believe I play in a band that people like. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've played in, a, played in a lot of bands. I've never gotten to play in, yeah, in yeah. one that, that people, people enjoyed like. listening to. So, yeah, I just I'm, I feel very grateful that, yeah. that people, uh, you know, like the music enough to come to the show or buy it or listen to it at all. Is there a time that you look back and you think that you remember where somebody was, like, singing your song or something like that, and you're like, oh, my gosh, like... That happens every night. Uh, it's just, that's, there's no feeling like that, you know. Yeah. When you create something mm -hmm. from nothing, you know, and then it, it resonates that far that you can travel around the world, really. At this point, we play all over the world, and right. people know the words to something that we created is an unbelievable feeling so anytime you can hear that happen you definitely it sets you back on your heels yeah. you know last night uh, people got I, I have, maybe they've been doing this and I just had my eyes closed and I didn't notice but like people got their phones out on, on oh, one, that was on they one don't song. do that all the time and they don't yeah. do that like you you that's rarefied air yeah if when people get their phone out and, and do light the, light, the whole place light up. The, yeah, and, and when one of the one of the, the slower songs, like like a lot of people were doing yeah. that last night, and I noticed, and I was like, "That's new. That it's, looks that it, looks really cool." I, I like, don't know why that's such a like emotional thing, but it's like it's, they're just phones, but it's pretty. You yeah, know? it's like I mean, it used to be lighters. Yeah, and it's hard to get people to do it. even it like is. a good crowd. Yeah. It's hard for some reason. It seems yeah. like they you'll don't. have like a pocket of them up here mm -hmm. doing it, but to get the whole yeah. place to light up, yeah, yeah that's cool. incredible. Anything else you guys want to add that I'm not asking that you think is important just about being back here and um, just what this moment and this weekend means for you? No, I think I mean, I think you covered it. It's just like I said, we're just so grateful that we get to come back here and, you know, and we're welcomed back home with open arms like we are. So, you know, we'd love to keep coming back. Cool. Yeah, I just I'm, I'm excited to go have a good time playing music.